Hey guys, welcome back. Another video on the Aerodrome Aeroplanes full size Stop with Camel Rotec 2800. We're getting there, we'll continue the build. Thanks for watching, enjoy the video. Okay, so big day. I do make a mess from time to time. Been on a mission. It's uh, about three o'clock, haven't knocked off. So I got all my anchor nuts in. Didn't film any of that. Uh, I've just got to get the right dash length screws. These are a tad long. They do the job, but I can do better. A um, couple of them are still poking out. I've just squirted that with, um, with water. I don't know if it does anything, but, and a bit of ammonia, like Windex in there as well. Um, so I wet it down inside and out, just leave it for the night. I think it helps the wood to sort of relax to that shape. Um, it's sort of forced into position at the moment, but that's good. It's all down snug, all these in nice and tight. Um, same again here, these are thread bound. Just need some smaller screws, smaller than I thought. So go and buy some more screws. Um, and what else? I'm just noticing that's probably going to miss up there. Yeah, it is. Look at that. So I need to... Well, I've done the same on the other side. Up, I'm up to this panel here. I'm going to put some anchor nuts in my my tangs that are here. You've got to be careful of these tangs because if it doesn't line up, you can just push the tang out of the way with a screwdriver. Um, this side's on and wet it wet down. Someone said to me once, don't worry about getting wood wet because it used to live in the forest, which sort of makes sense. So I've wet it down. Um, and... Yeah, it'll relax. I'll just keep doing that over the next few days. Spray it with water on the inside as well. It's coming along nicely. All right, so just trimming the side panels as required. Um, cutting out some radiuses that I had marked. Uh, decided I might as well just use a two inch tube and we'll just go with two inch radius everywhere to keep things conformal. I'll do the same up here, I'll mark that one, make that a two inch radius. I just need to trim this. So to do that, I've got this tongue piece that's on. Interestingly, when it's flat, it all bows out. But when it's in situ, it fits nicely. So I've got to remember to rivet that when it's back on the aircraft, I think. Um, although it's pre-drilled now, so it should be all right. And I'm just going to take out these two, possibly three, probably three rivets, and trim that sheet metal. Just the, the cow's just overlapping now that it's all nice and tight and right. Really happy with the way this is turning out. Um, it adds a lot of strength. Beautiful. My plywood's all dried from yesterday. Um, it should have a little bit of a a memory. It has raised a few uh, like machining marks, I think, roller marks, however they make the plywood. Nothing that a bit of, I'll probably rub it with 400, but that'll be final finish sort of stuff. Um, so we'll get this side today, get this panel fitted, which is going to need some anchor nuts on the front, and then I'm going to work, hopefully get these bottom parts done. Then I can move my attention up to the top. But going well. A few people mentioned my RAF Presentos. 38 Squadron, Caribous. What else have I got here? HS 748s, 32 Squadron at RAF East Sale. C130H, I also worked on the E models at 37, 36 and 503 wing at Richmond. That's a model jet award. 2005, nearly 20 years ago. Unbelievable. That's actually at West Sale up the road with a KJ66. Those who fly model jets still, that had a manual start. LPG gas to, to, to ignite it. Tap the starter or the compressor nut with a little starter wand. 
and you had to wean the fuel on, get a lot of hot starts, but that's how we used to do it. And um, 79 Squadron over at Raf Pierce on the Hawks, had a few backseat rides in the um, Hawk 127, fantastic. Also worked at 11 Squadron on P3 Orions. Uh, didn't get a presento for that because I was the one who made them. All right, back on the camel. Let's keep going. Now I've just drilled these for the anchor nuts. I had trouble on the other side where the tangs can, see they can just push out of the way. So I'm considering redoing the other side and putting a, um, if I put a one inch strip behind all of those and collect it with the anchor nut rivets. Um, it means it ties all the teeth together. A bit more work and a redo. But I think I'll do that, I think. Work out how much, I just need a one inch band from there right up and over to the other side. It'll make it a lot better. All right, quick date. Called in a favor with my friends over at uh, hangers across the road, the commercial business. So now I'm going to put that on there and sort of back drill through. I think that'll, that'll stiffen things up nicely. I should have done that on the other side, which I will. I'll undo the other side and take off all the anchor nuts and redo it. If it's not right, do it again. Or if it can be better, it's worth doing the hard yards now. Because you know what, you know, the last one you can push out of the way and then you have to take the whole panel off just to bend this back. You could probably reach inside, but I can see it's going to be a problem in the future, so I'll fix it now. Now that even looks stronger. They, they don't move now, which is fantastic. I should have done that. I should have thought about that ages ago. Um, hopefully my panel still fits. I went with solid rivets just on the every every other tang that are just doing nothing now but it all ties in nicely and I'll get my white spirits and clean clean that up and then we'll offer the panel up and it should hopefully go on and then I'll get on I'll do the same on the other side pull that apart read do a redo um, worry about the top later on and then we'll do some similar to what's over there or are we there on the floor? Um, I need a piece in there. I may cheat a bit, and it might, it may not go in there. I'll just let the, I'll just let the metal dictate where it wants to sit, rather than force it and bend it and get a bit of oil canning happening. But I just sort of, well, maybe you, I know the aerobatic guys sit, look at the ground through there, but getting ahead of myself there. Push on. Right, I was having trouble getting this back on and the reason is I've got those the rivets in my tongue so the tails well they're hitting here aren't they so I think I need some slots for the tails let's work that out next uh, next hurdle to overcome okay so I've added some lightning holes, if you like, for those rivet tails in this. Um, ideally, I'd make slots, but then that defeats the purpose of my bracket that I've got going on here. So we'll offer that up. Bear in mind, I need to tuck it in and it needs to be able to slide. So I'm hoping I can get just over this lip. Um, and then I'll look from inside to make sure that each rivet has got clearance. And then hopefully that solves that issue. I'm spending a lot of time on this guys, but I want, what, I, what I would like is to be able to put the screw in and then it should be, to me, hopefully, yeah, like that, it should be effortless to um, engage the anchor nut. These are all too long, but it's all right. That's what I'm after, all the way around. I don't want to have to stand there and 
use jemmy bars and mask and tape and whatever. So then this, you can see the hole there. Boom. So I want it to sort of be relaxed and effortless to put it on. That's why I'm spending the time sort of ginning around here at the moment. But it looks like those holes, I'll get in there with my mirror, um, which I won't be able to film, but it looks like these rivets might be in the holes nicely. Got out of that one. All right, fair bit of work. But I've got that now all rigid edge. A couple little areas to trim, just don't like it touching. Um, and just here, just I've got a bit of a, just needs a sand to get it straight. Obviously trim that. What I'll do there is, I may usually make it pretty obvious, so I can't miss it. I've got a nice hole around my wing joiner nice we'll do the same to the other side now redo my work i need to take off take off the anchor nuts and i'll redo those let's get into it another big day but i'm happy all on all the anchor nuts work all all the bolts fit i've ordered in some so i'm going from dash dash eights from the back all the way to the front. So when I get all sexed up, I throw them all in a tin. One size fits all. Um, they're tad short in some spots, tad short in others, happy medium. I'm about to spray this down again with my Windex. That's the dirty water out of my water tank. I've got to remember not to drink that. Um, yeah, I'll just give this a spray before I go home. I don't know if it does any good, but it makes me feel good just wetting the wood. When I pull it off, it'll sort of hold its shape. I just, I know that from the past. Um, this didn't sort of work as neatly as I thought in here. Uh, I may even have to, well, I'm not sure. I haven't had a good look at it yet. I was just sort of noticed that with the, when I was videoing. Um, I could do a better job there, I think. Looks like the L angle is poking out. Yeah. Might be a case of elongating that hole rather than build a whole new bracket. Just elongate this one, push it in a touch. Because the whole plan was to get this flush here. I haven't had a good look at it, like I said. Got all the anchor nuts in. Both sides. Cleaned up my holes. Um, when the day comes, I'll just have to check the wing actually fits on. These will be replaced with bolt heads so I can get a spanner into the root, in between the root rib and the, the panel to take it off with the wings on. Uh, this gets a big jelly bean panel or kidney panel cut into it at some stage. But yeah, happy with that. I've got my little trim notes on here. Just where it touches, I just want a nice gap. Same at the top gets in the way of each other. Uh, this here is sort of not going to work. There's my L angle. Sheet metal's too short. Might have to flip it over, put it on the bottom, which I can do. Just have to think about stuff as you go. Yeah, this side's the same. It's probably never going to, never really going to tuck in there, was it? Mm. That's all right. It is what it is. I'll get to that some stage that's what it's sort of going to look like on the inside I'll, obviously I'll stain the wood and then we'll, soon we'll get onto this uh, the top hatch finish those bits off and that should be the airframe basically complete I need to make up these panels something under here it sort of annoys me once again there's nothing to connect things to um, I don't know where I was going with this I've got a two inch, I think I call it a wing strut, it's a wing spar, two inch wing spar. So I'll go with two inch radiuses everywhere just to keep things correct. And I think I'll sort of just build a piece to let this sit where it wants to sit pretty much, rather than try and get it all the way into the floor like that. Um, I'll just let it sit where it wants to and build like a 
big gusset piece under there. My plan there is to um, feel some tape. My plan there is obviously pull one side off, reach across and do the other side. Um, yeah, that's that. This will get cut out to allow the flying wire to rotate up, clean up these, uh, these pieces now. This will do something, make it nice. So the panels will come off probably for the last time. I just like leaving them on there because it gives me a sensation of uh, being finished, but eventually that's going to all come off and it's going to look fairly naked. And then I'll get into the nitty gritty. We've got fuel system, oil system, airspeed, electric system, uh, brakes, all that sort of stuff to, uh, to work out. Throttles, mixture control. Um, yeah. Panels on the side, but that's where we're up to now. She's looking good. Give you guys a look around. The uh, oh, this sucked back down. Remember, I had the wrinkles, so it's obviously doing its thing in the sun and the shade or whatever temperature. It's pulled down nicely now. I took the blanket off, I think that was probably giving me a false read on the turtle deck. I don't know. Tail, don't it look beautiful? No, I think it does. Controls, all still moving. Haven't been back here for a while. From the cob, tell from that from the cobwebs. Really happy. Yes, I'll revisit the um, the cable here, but don't expect too much. And I do feel it's got a screw on the ground there. I do feel like I need to do have a crack at the suspension just to make it not look as sad as what it does sitting there um to sit it up a bit i've noticed other people's aircraft it's not sort of true to scale it looks a bit squat to me like the legs aren't long enough or something when you compare it to a, a full uh, a proper replica All right, guys, it's another day, another day done. As I lock up and call them that, tools on the board, as we used to say. Lock the door, it's hot again. Um, we got this done in the last few days. Happy with that, we'll continue. Thanks for watching, see you on the next vid.